most beautiful and most popular beaches in the entire world. It also hosts one of the biggest air shows anywhere. Over two and a half million people on the beaches of Fort Lauderdale last year. This year, it's even bigger. Hello, everyone. I'm Dick Crippen, and joining me for this year's version of the Shell Air and Sea Show is retired Brigadier General Gibby Bartan. And Gibby, it has to be special for you. You served many years in the Air Force. This is the 50th anniversary of the United States Air Force. Sure is. A lot of activity on the beach. Going to be a lot of activity in the air to celebrate it. And one of the things you're going to watch for during this show is the fact that we're going to kind of unroll the decades for you. You're going to see aircrafts from then and now. Right. You're going to see the P-51 from the 40s. You're going to see some bombers from the 50s. We're going to take the technology right up through the 60s, 70s, 80s, right up to the stealth technology, the newest and the best. It's going to be exciting, and let me tell you something else. To put the icing on the cake for us today, who better than the United States Air Force Thunderbirds? Right. And they're going to do their 50th anniversary show, and they're going to show you some new tricks. Let's get on with that show with Air and see off Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And all eyes in disguise as the Navy parachute team, the Leap Frogs, thoroughly leaped from their big C-130 over Fort Lauderdale Beach. Gibby, this is one of the finest acrobatic teams anywhere in the world. It started actually when a group of the Frogmen would get together on weekends and perform at shows locally and Look what it's produced. Right, you've got all 15 members out there free falling at 200 miles an hour and getting into a precision formation. Actually, the Leaf Frogs are part of the East and West Coast SEAL team. What is a SEAL? We asked Dwight Settle, who's a member. SEAL is an acronym for sea, air, and land, which means we work in all three environments. So we can, you know, come from the water, up onto the beach, out of the air like you just saw here, or um, we just work in, uh, you know, the jungle, desert environments. They are certainly highly trained, and they do a terrific job at some very dangerous stunts. When you see them pile one on top of another like that, they are actually entangling their feet in the lines of the other chutes, or in this case, they are hooked together with their feet and also with their safety belts. And there you can see how they hook the feet underneath the lines of the lower parachute. A little bit dangerous, Gibby, and they really have to know what they're doing. Well, they really do, and those terrible shoots that they have are really state-of-the-art, so they're quite able to do those things safely, and that's the name of the game in that business. And, of course, you might imagine, you just saw the American flag going by there. This is the setup for the national anthem that will be played here in just a few moments. But what a beautiful way to bring this great country's flag into the Fort Lauderdale area. An exciting and beautiful visual effect, for sure. And once on ground, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Coming up next, you're going to see Ian Groom aboard the Fujifilm Sukhoi stunt plane and Team Tomcat from the United States Navy. Stay with us. The 1997 Shell Air and Sea Show is brought to you by Shell, moving at the speed of light. And talk about moving, perhaps one of the most well-known planes in the United States Navy. It was used in the movie Top Gun. It is the F-14 Tomcat. The Navy's premier fleet air superiority fighter, a Mach 2 airplane that can carry its mission out day and night in all kinds of conditions, capable of tracking up to 24 targets simultaneously, engaging six at any one time. Give me the wings on this plane, very, very special. They are movable. Talk a little bit about that and how the pilot controls it. Of course, he controls it according to the flight discipline that he's in at the moment. When he's at low speed, he can extend those wings, which gives him a little better angle of attack for making carrier landings or making short radius turns. Right now, you're seeing a very graceful roll that he does with the wings extended, and as he pulls up, he'll begin to retract those wings. We'll get a chance to see that. I'm sure as we go along through this discipline. You're going to occasionally see what appears to be a smoke-like substance coming off of the wings. Give me condensation. That's what it is, and then the speed, of course, burning it off. 
Uh, people are interested in that sweep wing. There's a thing called a mock sweep programmer in the airplane. It's controlled by a computer, and it does control the sweep of the wings according to airspeed. Now, the pilot can override that system, and he frequently does in this air demo. Good shot there of the wings all the way back. That's a 68 degree sweep on the wings when they're fully back. And when he has them up forward, as you'll see in some of the shots, they're in a 20 degree sweep. A lot of folks visiting today, and very important visitors, as a matter of fact. And with us right now is Admiral Mike Bucky. And Admiral, your impressions of this show. I know you see a lot of this every day, but. Well, it's true. Uh, I've seen her quite a few of these type things, but I can tell you, this has got to be one of a kind, most unique air show I think I've ever attended. Just great. I have to think that the military is awfully proud to be able to display in front of millions as they do right here on Fort Lauderdale Beach. Oh yes, this is definitely a win-win situation. Uh, it's, it's a win for us on the military side to be able to showcase our goods and our merchandise, and it doesn't matter what part of the service you're, uh, you're into. And of course, it's a great opportunity for our civilians, the taxpayer, to get a chance to see what it is they're, they're paying for. Sukhoi Su-31, it is a strong, light, and technically advanced championship aircraft. Now, the construction is space-age composites like Kevlar, titanium, and stainless steel. And give me a roll rate in excess of 720 degrees per second. Wow. And look at that smoke behind me as he puts that airplane through 15 rolls at that rate of turn. The Fujifilm Sukhoi Precision Aerobatics Act. Ian Groom flying the famed Russian aircraft. And what a show he puts on for the folks here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Twists and turns all over the sky. Looking sometimes totally out of control, but in truth, very much in control. The United States Air Force Falcon was a special guest at the big press conference kicking off this salute to the military. The city of Fort Lauderdale is extremely proud to be the whole city for this really tremendous event. This event does a lot of things for a lot of people, uh, particularly showcases our community and how proud we are in Fort Lauderdale. It showcases the military, wonderful young people, and even some of the older folks that are in the military, and what a, a nice career and a good career that can be for them. And it showcases some very wonderful sponsors. In the military, you have us for one reason, and that's to win wars. The tools of our trade are lethal, and when we make decisions to use them, lives are at risk, and vast quantities of national treasure are expended. Therefore, we live up to a very high level of integrity, and we know that the public expects a lot from us. To carry out that mission, we need to have young people coming in, in the recruiting venue, to carry on that mission. This event has turned into one of the great recruiting opportunities for the U.S. military. We have core values, and our Chief of Staff, General Fogelman, talks about them. They are, number one, integrity, number two, service before self, and excellence in all we do. And that's your theme for your military. And this is an actual class of cadets being sworn into the United States Air Force. Their next stop, Lackland Air Force Base. And our next stop will be a flight with one of the finest goalies in the NHL, along with some international flavor, the Brazilian Smoke Squadron. Stay with us. One of the finest goalies in the National Hockey League plays for the Florida Panthers. His name is John Van Beesbrook. He was a special guest of the Thunderbirds. Uh, we got a block, block of airspace that's cleared out by approach for us, so we'll make sure there's no other traffic there. Okay. Well, five miles to rainy outing. And uh, we'll spend out most of the day out there over the water, and then we'll press on back to land. A special youth mentoring group was the guest of the air show as John got ready to take to the air. And he gears up. 
going to pull about five G's. Five times his weight. There you go. What do you think about that? That is awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, now let go of the stick. Okay. okay, now take your hand and push the stick left. There you go. Keep pushing. There you go. Now keep pushing. I got the airplane. I got it. There you go. I got it. So you just want to... Kind of spin that glow around. Kind of a weird feeling, huh? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip upside down. You can see what that feels like. Upside down? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> kind of a weird feeling. Some people don't like that. <laughs> well over nine in the front, but the height only shows eight and a half. We'll do it again real quick. And he comes in for a safe landing. Quite a thrill for John Van Thiesbrook. It was truly amazing. I mean, uh, the takeoff was really special. I mean, just zooming into the sky, I felt like we were in a rocket ship. But uh, it, it's uh, it's really not explainable. You, you have to go up there yourself. Another special event surrounding the Shell Air and Sea Show is the performers party held at the Beverly Boatyard. A chance giving for a lot of the performers to kind of have a reunion. Well, air operations people sure like to party, and after a hard day at the airfield, this is a good way to let down your hair. And it brings about a lot of camaraderie between the crews and the pilots of the various aircraft. They get together, share a little bit of cake and some drink, and enjoy a fine, fine evening. A great kickoff to a salute to the U.S. military. And here comes Kermit Weeks from Fantasy of Flight in Polk County, Florida, with a bit of memory for some. The Grumman J2F6 Duff, an airplane that goes all the way back to 1933. Here's our Kermit dropping a few watermelons in the water. That's an airplane with a noble history, evacuating people out in World War II from Bataan. And there you can see that great spectator fleet here as they look skyward. And welcome from Brazil, the Smoke Squadron. And what a beautiful, wonderful international flavor to this show. It's a group that started back in 1952, and it's got a long history, and they have just now started flying the F-27 Tucano, and doing their flight now gracefully, over the top, rolling with great precision, and this is the near cockpit to cockpit maneuver, very, very precision. A lot of exciting things here, a great crowd pleaser. Everybody that sees these have seen the jets and they love the jets, believe me, they love the excitement of them, but the sheer beauty and grace of this smoke squadron team from Brazil absolutely has everybody stunned and it's just gorgeous to watch. The uh, Tucano is a trainer aircraft and it's uh, well suited to this particular mission. It's a real privilege too to have this fine acrobatic team here from Brazil that adds an international flavor. The Brazilian Smoke Squadron. Coming up next, we'll go back to the sea for some well-crafted offshore exhibitions. And in the air, it's the Harrier Jet. Stay with us in Fort Lauderdale. Welcome back to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the Shell Air and Sea Show. And right off the bat, the Comcast Aerobatics flight what? demonstration with Bill Knight. Bill Knight happens to be the international champion of 1995 and the highest scoring member of the American team in 1996. So we're looking at a real champion to put this airplane through its paces. And Gibby, I don't care how many times people see aerobatic flight like this, it looks like the plane is out of control. It looks like it's doing things it shouldn't do. Well, you saw him coming out of the launch and it. Bill is doing one of his famous rolls right now. He's famous for these knife edge spins, and you're seeing a top-notch man do it. He really gives the crowd a tremendous thrill as he takes it straight up in the air, doing his turns, literally hanging it on the propeller and letting it drop off. That's the correct term, and in the acrobatic world, those moves are all graded. That aircraft he's flying, again, is a bit of top-notch German technology. The extra 300 complete with pilot and fuel weighs only 1,300 pounds. Another kickoff for the city officials, as well as the sponsors, is held at the Bahia Mar Yachting Center. 
Quite an elegant party, to put it mildly. One they all enjoy being a part of. Funny to toast the success of the show with also, along with fine hors d'oeuvres, and an opportunity to meet up close with not only military personnel, but some of the performers in the show. It sets the mood for a fine weekend in Fort Lauderdale as everybody joins together to salute the military. United States Air Force Demonstration Squadron Thunderbirds. They move inside to honor the United States Thunderbirds along with the United States Navy SEALs and the Brazilian Smoke Squadron. As Mickey mentioned earlier, this is the Air Force's 50th anniversary, and it's a big deal. Our motto for this year is Golden Legacy and Unbounded Future, and we really believe in that. The future of our Air Force is people. We need great people, and we continue to need the people that you provide as recruits for our airmen, NCO, officer, military civilians, and all those people that do good work for the United States Air Force. Mickey and his show 